Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Hugo Correa. In this case I want to show you something that is really important that I've seen some um, issues before and that I want to kind of help contribute to avoid these situations in the future for your projects or the people that is working with you. Now what you're seeing in front of the camera right now are uh, two couplings that I use uh, for um, cast iron and PVC uh, purposes. Now uh, the PVC is the pipe that you're seeing in the back, the white one right here and um, it's a two inch PVC um, you're not seeing the cast iron one I'll show you some video clips in a moment but um, the cast iron one is one that that is commonly used in many old buildings and new buildings and you know different types of cities around the world but what happened is that there is a deficiency when you're doing remodeling and some people just make this mistake because maybe they don't know about this other type of fittings that you can find and I'm talking about the couplings now the couplings that you see here are couplings designed for transitioning from one type of diameter of a pipe to the other. Although the inside is the same thing as two inches in a regular PVC pipe, in a cast iron pipe, sometimes the outside is not. Some of them are thicker than others and that's where the deficiency happens because sometimes when you're you know, tying um, the nuts in, in one type of coupling, one will be taller than the other one and therefore it will be kind of deformed and will not, will not help it to prevent uh, water leakage. Uh, leakage and um, so now this type of coping that is here is one approved for many many applications and and is you know commonly used sometimes it's kind of uh, tricky to find them but you, you can actually find them they have a different um, you know it specifies which one is PVC and which one is cast iron uh, or there are different designs from company but they, they are for transitioning right and this one over here is a little more flexible it has um, you know the the round clamps over here and uh, it's, it's really practical to use in many applications really good but this one sometimes is not approved when you need to pass inspections and all the stuff so you need to make sure that you comply with your local codes building codes right so plumbing codes now these things that are here this is a regular nut driver uh, and it's used to kind of you know fasten these things right here right it's used to fasten that but what happens is that a lot of times people don't know if they are fastening too much or too little and sometimes there are leaks and you're not able to see it because it's hard to test these things especially if you're just using one you will have to do a lot of things to be able to you know try that one but here's the solution this is called a T-wrench a T-wrench is one designed for this particular use what happens is that this thing has a a pressure mounted on it you know it is designed so it will just stop and it will skip if you pass 60 pounds of pressure so now you know that when you're tying this this nut you're not going to exceed the pressure that is recommended otherwise you will damage the threads that are here and the little dentations that are in the coupling and therefore you will damage your coupling so this is a really cool tool to work with i'm going to leave you a link where you can find it and you can buy one in case that you need to tie that but it's really hard to kind of find out if you're tying this too much or not and with these little guys it's, it's really really good So um, with this I want to leave you, uh, make sure to check out that, that link that I'm going to leave you over there and um, subscribe and just hit the little bell over there so you can have notifications and every time that I bring a new video you can see it. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.